these right here are the four bytes that belong to this len variable. A byte is eight bits, and a bit is either a one or a zero, and that has to do with binary. I will write a function here to show you what this value looks like in binary. So here we go, void print binary const int uh, a value. Let's put down some assumptions here, int bits per byte. So it's eight. We can actually be extra sure about it by pound including limits dot h and in limits dot h we have a I think it's char bits is the name of the variable or bits char what is it char bit char bit there we go which is defined as eight and const int bits per int I want to know how many bits are in an integer because I'm going to be printing an integer that would be bits per byte times size of int so this right here tells us the amount of bytes of an integer which should be should be four on this computer because it's a 32-bit machine and four times eight is 32 ideally the integer should be the same size as whatever CPU the compiler is using but that's not always the case anyway let's move on in order to print a number in binary I'm going to use something called a mask a bit mask let's do this for int i equals zero while i is less than bits per int I need to get all check all the bits of an integer and every time I check a bit I need to change the mask to check the bit that I want so mask equals one left shift I which will shift a bit to the left so the one bit means that the one is on and that's all the way on the right and when I is zero it won't shift to the left at all when I is one it'll shift to the left one when I is two it'll shift to the left two when I is three it'll shift to the left three etc and we can use that to pick out which specific bit we're checking inside of a value int masked value I'll say equals a value and mask this right here will check to see if the bit in a value is on if the bit in a value and a mask is on simultaneously and if it is on simultaneously then this value right here will be that bit. If it isn't on, then this will be a zero. And if masked value does not equal zero, then I want to put down a one. Otherwise, I want to put down a zero. And I think this should mostly write a binary number for me. So let's try that. Print binary len and see what happens. Yep, there it is. It goes straight to 125 there. Let me just do put char slash n there. And I'll add another piece of code here. If i and i modulo bits per byte is equal to zero, put char space so that, that we can see a separation of bytes. So here is our binary number. And you'll notice, if you know anything about binary, that this is printed the wrong way. The first bit printed here is the least significant bit. This right here is one in binary because there's a one in the one bit, a zero in the two, and a zero in the four, a zero in the eight, etc. This right here is the value one, two, four. This is four, which means that this diamond right here should be the ASCII value four. Let me just verify that. Put char four. And that should be a diamond, if my math is right. Yep, there's the diamond. 
So this right here is a 4. This byte right here maps to these 8 bits. This byte right here maps to these 8 bits. This byte right here maps to these 8 bits. And this byte right here maps to these. But these bits are actually being printed in the wrong direction, like I said. So in order to fix that, I need to do something like uh, 